Hello Lucky Stars! And to all who can see this video, have a blessed day. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe and enjoy learning with me. In this video, I am going to share to you the divisibility rules in order for you to determine whether a certain number is divisible or can be divided by another number when we say divisible, that means can be divided exactly without a remainder. Now, let's proceed to the divisibility rule of 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits is a multiple of 4 or can be div divided by 4 or if the number ends in two zeros. Examples? 316. 316. The last two digits form a number 16. 16 is a multiple of 4 because when, when we multiply 4 times 4, the product is 16. So that is why 16 is a multiple of 4. So since it is a multiple of 4, therefore, 316 can be divided by 4 with an exact answer. So you will just look the last two digits of a number. Another example. Eight hundred. The number eight hundred ends in two zeros. So eight hundred is divisible by four. Another one. Three thousand four hundred twelve. The last two digits form a number twelve. 12 is a multiple of 4. So, 3,412 is divisible by 4. Another. 15,208. Okay. 15,208. The last two digits. Form a number 8. 8 is a multiple of 4. Thus, 15,208 is divisible by 4. Last example. 795,820. The last two digits form a number 20. 20 is a multiple of 4. So, this number is divisible by 4. That is the divisibility rule for 4. Just look at the last two digits of a number. If the last two digits of a number is a multiple of 4, that number is divisible by 4. Or if a number ends in two zeros, that number can be divided by 4 with an exact answer. This time, we will study the divisibility rule for 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits is a multiple of 8 or can be divided by 8 or if a number ends in three zeros. Examples. First example. 1,248. The last three digits form a number 248. 248 is 
a multiple of 8 or can be divided by 8. So, 1,248 is divisible by 8. Another example. 15,000. Okay, 15,000 15, ends in three zeros. And according to the rule, if a number ends in three zeros, a number is divisible by 8. Another example. 35,840. The last three digits form a number 840. 840 can be divided by 8. Therefore, this number is divisible by 8. Next example. 125,320. The last three digits, 320, is divisible by 8. Therefore, 125,320 is divisible by 8. Last example. 95,832, the last three digits form a number 832. 832 can be divided by 8. So, 95,832 is divisible by 8. And that is the rule for 8. For the divisibility rule of 11, subtract and add the digits in alternating pattern from left to right. If the answer is 11 or 0, a number is divisible by 11. Okay, examples? 539. So according to the rule, we will subtract and add the digits of a number in an alternating pattern from left to right. So from left to right, subtract first, then add. 5 minus 3 plus 9. Like this, we will do like this. So 5 minus 3, the answer is 2. And then 2 plus 9 the answer is 11. Since the sum is 11 or the result is 11, therefore, 539 is divisible by 11. Another example. 1,375. Okay. The rule is subtract and Add the digits in alternating pattern from left to right. So again, we will do this. 1 minus 3 plus 7 minus 5. Alternating. Alternate. Subtract. Add. Subtract. If there is another number, add. Okay. So 1 minus 3. The answer is negative. 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2 plus 7 minus 5. Okay. So this one, in this number, we will apply the rule in adding integers, negative and positive numbers. So if we add negative 2 plus 7, the answer is 5. Then, the last number is 5. You subtract 5 minus 5. The answer is 0. Since the, the result is 0, then 1,375 is divisible by 11. Another example. Now, 
924. 924. Okay, we will do the rule. 9 minus 2 plus 4 equals. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 2, 7. Plus 4 equals 11. 11 is divisible by 11. So, 924 can be divided by 11 without a remainder. Last one. Five thousand five hundred. Okay. So, do the rule. Five. Subtract. Add. Subtract. 5 minus 5, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. Then, 5,500 is divisible by 11. That is the rule for 11. Now, let's proceed to the divisibility rule of 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. So, you must remember the rule for 3 and 4. Because a number is divisible by 12 if it is both divisible by 3 and 4. I will show you an example. Okay. 924. The rule for 4 is you must look the last two digits. The last two digits, 24, divisible by 4. Okay, so divisible by 4, indivisible 4. Then, it must be 3 also. So, for 3, you must add 9, 9 plus 2 plus 4 equals 15. 15 is a multiple of 3, so it is divisible by 3. And since 924 is divisible by both 4 and 3, this number is divisible by 12. So, the two conditions must be present. The number must be divisible by 4 and by 3. If, if a number is divisible only by 4 but not by 3, that number is not divisible by 12. Two conditions must be present. Another example. 216. The last two digits form a number 16. So, 16 is divisible by 4. And then, if we add the digits, 2 plus 1 plus 6 equals 9. And then, 9 is divisible by 3. So, since 216 is divisible by 4 and 3, it is also divisible by 12. Another example. Okay. 1,200. 1,200 ends in two zeros. So, divisible by 4. If we add the digits 1 plus 2, plus 0, plus 0, the answer is 3. And 3 is a multiple of 3. So, 1,200 is divisible by 12. Another one. Okay. 2,532. The last two digits, 32, divisible by 4. If we add the digits, 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2, the answer is 12. 2 plus 5, 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 is a multiple of 3, so divisible by 3. Therefore, 2,532 is divisible by 12. Last one. 
This one, 24,840. The last two digits, 40, divisible by 4. Then if we add the digits, 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus 0, the answer is... The answer is 18. 18. 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus 0. The answer is 18. 18 is a multiple of 3. Thus, this number is divisible by 3. So, that means that this number, 24,840, is divisible by 12. So, you need to apply the divisibility rule of 4 and 3 for you to determine whether a number is divisible by 12. If you know all these rules, you can easily tell a number whether divisible by a number from 2 to 12 by just looking at it or without performing the division operation. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be updated of the next video that I am going to upload. I hope you enjoy learning with me. Thanks again. See you next time. God bless.